This is how we start Christmas morning. Actually, we don't sit quite this close, <laughs> but we all wanted to be in this video and read the Christmas story to you. And while I'm reading it, the kids often are eating their cinnamon rolls and have some hot chocolate. So this is a very special time of year. Um, it's, it's the time when we celebrate the birth of Christ. And I'm going to need my reading glasses to read this out of the book of Luke, chapter 2. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was obviously pregnant by that time. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the village. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby lying in a manger wrapped snugly in strips of cloth. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others. Can you imagine? And the armies of heaven were praising God, and they were saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to all whom God favors. When the angel had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. They ran to the village and found Mary and Joseph. And there was the baby lying in the manger. Then the shepherds told everyone happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary quietly treasured these things in her heart and thought about them often. One of the amazing things is that God used shepherds who at that time were considered lower in society, that he used shepherds, meaning any of us can be used of the Lord for his glory. And in Isaiah, many years before the actual birth of Christ, in Isaiah 9, it is predicted that the Messiah will come for a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders. These will be his royal titles, Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His expanding peaceful government will never end. He will rule forever with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David. And the passionate commitment of the Lord Almighty will guarantee this. I pray that this season you will invite Jesus into your heart and that you will actually personally experience this wonderful counselor, this almighty God, this Prince of Peace into your life. Thanks for spending time with us. God bless you and may you have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.